morning, everyone. I'm Bill Ren from Huawei. I'm delighted to be here to share with you some of our practice and thoughts about uh, artificial intelligence and the cloud native. So the topic of my speech is uh, cloud native accelerates AI that uh, open source accelerates the global intelligence. So first, uh, let's have a look about uh, this information area that are two curves evolve. First, from AI side, we can see with the birth of uh, artificial intelligence in Dartmouth conference in 1956, there are the industry comes through three technical waves. The first wave is uh, we call it expert system plus machine learning, just like a deep blue robot uh, defeat the human master. The second wave is uh, uh, deep learning with uh, something like uh, AlphaGo or AlphaFold. And with uh, the ch chat GBT comes, so it evolved to the third wave. And uh, the folks of AI also changing from the, shifting from the uh, training to inference. So we can see the, AI is already de developed from uh, trying to perceiving and understanding the world <coughs> into creating and generating the world. And uh, it's like a tool to help people try to analyze data and uh, give suggestions and evolve to composing data and uh, creating the results and even evolve to the AGI. And uh, let's, from the cloud native curve, we can see also it's uh, gone through several phase from the phase one server resource to cloud-based resource, and as well as this uh, third phase cloud native resource, based on the technology from hardware to virtualization to the container-based uh, technology. And then I think uh, from last year, we all see the AI erupt. So that's the cloud native also going uh, go to the cloud compute, AI uh, computing power stage. and. Uh, so that's from the uh, Cloud Native Foundation also launched this program called the Cloud Native AI Work Group to build this uh, reference architecture for Cloud Native AI. So that's why, in short, the openings has uh, bring this convergence of uh, integration for Cloud Native and AI together, go deeper. And uh, it's in both directions for uh, Cloud Native for AI and AI for Cloud Native. So next I will give a brief introduction about how the open source project from Huawei side uh, uh, evolved in both ways. So first let's look at this uh, uh, example from Cloud Native for AI. It's uh, Bloomberg's uh, flagship product called Bloomberg Terminal. It, uh, uh, provide this real-time market based for more than 3.5 million professionals worldwide, supporting this investment uh, uh, strategies with these real data insights. To improve this service quality, Bloomberg tried to adopt this machine learning platform to empower this uh, uh, terminal product. So that's why they uh, have two requirements for one is automated uh, uh, scheduling for training jobs to enhance the execution efficiency and high availability. Second is to support this multi-dimension scheduling strategy. To achieve that, they adopt this uh, uh, command to try to build this uh, multi-cluster management based on this uh, uh, multiple computer resource across the multiple data centers. And this provide a unified job uh, submission uh, entry. And uh, this help to utilize this uh, uh, resource across a multiple data center and abstract the complexity of the infrastructure. And uh, this uh, architecture brings this uh, very high value for automation and high availability to enhance the resource. And uh, and also bring this agility and simplify for job submitting to make sure the core team to focus on their core business. And this uh, technology helps uh, not only help uh, Bloomberg to improve their uh, user experience and also strengthen their leading position in global financial market. 
And another example for cloud native for AI, we call it uh, uh, the Bilibili's uh, example. So the Bilibili is a well-known video share website with hundreds of millions of uh, monthly active users. It has various business scenarios such as re search recommendation, image processing, and uh, video decoding, including around the video business. So managing the cluster of more than uh, 1.5K Kubernetes clusters. So for this AI training task, the BDBD demands a high uh, performance and a high demand of efficiency. And the video uh, transcoding platform also extremely high performance uh, demands such as uh, uh, QPS reached more than 3,000 pods per second. To achieve this, they also uh, BDBD use this Volcano project as a scheduling for AI and big data uh, platform as well as this encoding and decoding task for job and resource management. So use this rich scheduling strategy, which uh, such as this uh, gun and task topology capability to award this uh, task deadlock and improve the efficiency of AI training task by optimizing this Volcano performance this update frequency of uh, jobs was greatly reduced. And the throughput of a video encoding and decoding task also was increased. So in the end, the efficiency and the performance of AI training task, as well as this video encoding and decoding task were greatly improved and enhanced the video experience. So from training to inference, we can say cloud native is the best foundation for AI. Another example, let's say, take a look at the progress from AI side for cloud native, how AI help the cloud native. So as we can see, the Manspot, the leading open source AI framework from China uh, ecosystem, they built this AM ops to en enable this cloud native uh, innovation. So currently there are a few challenges with this AM ops. Now, many people still use this op first, this offline AM serving. This may be only benefit for historical data analysis, but it's still lack of the capability for real-time data uh, cluster analysis learning. Second challenge, the scattered AM pipelines is created multiple tools, maybe a tool for data, another tool for training and serving. So it's difficult to manage and deploy. Third challenge is a separate deployment. The different uh, M cluster is still not uh, fully uh, cloud native based, so it gives a difficult management. So, with the new release of Manspot 2.3, they bring a practical solution for M ops. With this uh, online high performance serving with this unified training and inference. Another thing is end-to-end -end manageable pipeline with a very strong uh, facilities, such as manageable date, manageable shoot, manageable compiler, and the various AM suites like Manformer. Finally, this core deployment, where well, this Volcano and the MS operators help this AM can run in the cloud native cluster very smoothly. Another example I'd like to share is uh, how the AI helps the cloud native is uh, from operating support, operating system. And uh, OpenOla is a leading open source uh, operating system globally. And uh, it's uh, based on this uh, intelligent agent uh, uh, called Eula Pilot to help to build this in intelligent implementation uh, maintenance for operating system. And also this intelligent operating system helps to enable the cloud native innovation. Let's see how they do it. So this Eula pilot provides uh, two entrants, one framework and multiple agents. The web is an uh, entry for the Q and A. The intelligent shell is an entry for job uh, entry. And uh, this unified agent framework provides a full unified lifecycle management plus this task scheduling and it's easy for agent to link. And also provide a multiple agent just like a Q&A assistant, intelligent training, and intelligent operation. With this intelligent Eula copilot, it again enables this 
high resource utilization and uh, extremely cost effective uh, unanimity in cloud native, such as this Azula 2.0 for container uh, innovation. It's pretty provide this heterogeneous computing top uh, awareness to reduce this runtime CPU kill decrease uh, by 30 percentage. Another thing is called Gala Op. It helps this quality full stack uh, observability and reduce the data noise rate less, and this rate can be keep less than five percentage. Another uh, innovation is just uh, like a head scheduling. It makes the cloud container cluster elastic scaling and the startup time speed up to increase more than 80 percentage. So we can see this OS powered uh, cloud native with IAM ops create a new paradigm. This paradigm shift from traditional DevOps to the IAM ops with that uh, in DevOps, few months there in the loop and with a labor and the tooling intensive, and uh, transfer to a human already not in the loop in IAM ops. It's design, human is design the loops, and uh, with the promote intensive architecture. So here I also, well, very exciting news I'd like to share with you is based on the half year effort with the cloud native infrastructure team work together, we have finally achieved this, make sure the CNCF CICD running in OpenOla can be off officially launched today. So thanks for your effort. Let's give them a, a big hand for them. Thank you. And uh, this outstanding community uh, cooperation brings several benefits to the community. First, there is more open source option. Uh, OS options and the computing resource for CNCF community and the developers. So there are more than hundreds of uh, projects and work group can use this resource. And also, as I mentioned, this OpenOla uh, enhanced uh, OS could bring the, this intelligent infrastructure to the CNCF community. So with that, this performance upgrade to empower the community innovation. So that's why we encourage the, all the CNCF projects Try to try try this open OLA CI facilities. Okay, so look for the future in both ways. So one on other on one hand, the cloud native for AI from training to inference. Cloud we formally believe this cloud native is the best foundation for AI to accelerate AI uh, application and innovation. And also on the other hand, for AI for cloud native, it's also AI evolve under this cloud native where you evolve from DevOps to AIOps and enable the new paradigm for cloud native deployment and accelerate this implementation of cloud native industry. And also in the future, we, we strongly believe the inference is the new web app and the Kubernetes will be the new web server. Just as Dennis Gebber, who is a Nobel Prize winner in 1971 as a physicist scientist, he read in his book this, the future cannot be predicted, but the future can be invented. So let's all work together with this cloud native and AI convergence to actively participate in this uh, convergence and uh, face the challenge together and to accelerate the intelligence globally. Thank you.